Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode of the Bacharina Battleground series. Now this episode we have some division rival rewards to open as well as I believe an 83 times 3 that we've been gifted by EA. So hopefully we can get some stuff in these packs. But before we do that, if you are new to this series, please do consider subscribing to join us on our road to 300 subs by the end of this year. And without further ado, let's get straight into this pack opening of our rival rewards and our free pack we've been given by EA. So, we get two jumbo gold packs as well as, what else? I can't really see. Seal rewards. Got two gold boosters and it's not bad to be fair, not bad rewards. So, of course, we're going to go for the untradeable real quick. So I doubt we'll get anything tradable in these packs. So I'm going to go for the safe option and just try and get as much cold players into the club. So untradeable it, it will be. And hopefully, honestly, we can uh, pack something because we've not had an insane pull just yet on this, this series. We've had some on the other series, on the Chelsea 11. We've had some all right pulls. But on this account, we've not really had much. So I'm hoping maybe for something nice. But who knows? Right, here we go. Uh, we're going to open the gold boosters first because they're not that good. Let's see. English. Left back. It's either Shaw or that other woman. Shaw. 83. You know what? It's, it's alright. I didn't expect to get a board from this pack to be fair. So I'll definitely take that. Send that to the club. I think we also got an 82 in there. I think Griffo was in it. Now we have the second gold booster. Hopefully. Is it, it can be as good as the first. Check. Strike is chic. Not bad. Again, another 83. I was not expecting this out of these packs. A very good start so far. Can we keep it up with the other packs? Who knows? But Patrick Schick, not bad at all. Send that to club. And now I believe two jumbo gold packs we have. And then, of course, 83 times three. So jumbo gold pack number one is going to be Brazil. Center back. Where from? Thiago Silva! This pack opening so far has been fantastic. Two 8-3s and an 8-4. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, I can't lie. Especially due to the packs not being that great. But again, another decent pack. And our final gold, uh, Jumbo Gold, is... Can it, can it, can it, can it be a good, as good? Let's see. Brazil again. Centre back again. Ah... Mateus Reese. 80, no, 79, sorry. Uh, it's meh. But overall, not too bad in terms of the rival rewards. We get some gold rares, gold and gold commons into the club, as well as a decent bit of fodder. So, not bad. But now, we're going to open our 83 times 3 which could we get a new re radioactive player in? I'm looking for Gavardiol, because, of course, he's Croatian. He'd fit quite well in the team. So, here we go. 83 times 3 What is it? It's a normal rare, gold, Chilean. Goalie, it's that um woman keeper. I forgot her name, but she's 88 rated. That's not bad. Endler, 83, not 83, 88. That's pretty nice. Anyone behind her, maybe? A radioactive player would be absolutely unbelievable. No, but we get an 88 rated. So that's really not that bad. So we'll definitely take that. A very, very nice start to the episode, actually. We'll get some fodder in, as well as some good rival rewards. But yeah. Now I think we're going to get straight into a game of Division Rivals, so let's do this. Right, the first team we're going to be facing, what's it looking like? Um, it's alright. A bit confusing why Harry Kane's at left wing, but you know what? I've never seen it before, so it could work. Bailey on the right, and Rodman from the middle. It's not a bad team. Pacharina, coming forward, plays out wide to Rukavina. Rukavina, down the left. Cuts inside. Rukavina still going on. Plays it across goal, but it's intercepted. Mateta stole it, though. Shoot! Scores! A great start. John Philippe Mateta gives us the goal within three minutes, which is absolutely ridiculous. But a great finish from the Palace forward, and it means it's 1 0 to the Baturina battleground. Baturina, Kovacic. Looking for a pass, maybe. Rukavina making the run. Gives him the support. Now it's Rukavina. Nabry again, open at the flat post. He's whipped it in. Good touch. Got to score, and he does. Serge Nabry with the second of the game, wearing the captain's armband as he slots it into the top corner. It's 2-0. Bukovina 
Still going for it. Plays in Mateta. Mateta looks across goal for Nabry. Whips it in. Nabry just doesn't get there. That's poor. Puts in a tackle and it'll be a corner. I thought that nearly was going to be a foul, but no. Whipped in by Kamavinga. Looking for someone. Beliba! What a header. I thought maybe that would have gone out, but no. He's just headed it perfectly in it off the post. And it's 3-0 to the Bacharina Battleground. Kovacic looking for someone. Rukovina giving him the option yet again. He's been fantastic this game. Rukovina in behind. Looking for a chance. Rukovina one-on-one. -on -one, slots it past the keeper. It's 4-0. Absolutely sensational from the young Croatian. As his teammate Bacharina jumps on his back. And it's 4-0 to the Bacharina battleground. Here we go. Rukovina. Mateta. Rukovina looking for even more trouble on this left-hand side. His pace is unmatched. He's looking for the goal. He makes it a goal. 5-0 to the Batarina Battleground. What a finish again from Rukovina. Is he going to leave? He's cleared it out after we've just scored our fifth. Are we going to get the rage quick we want? We are. A first win of the episode, not bad at all, 5-0. Rukovina running the show on that left-hand side, though. And I, me I think that means we're promoted now. Yep, Division 8, here we are. Boom, fantastic. I think now we'll get straight into a second game and see what happens. Right, the second team we're going to face, who is it? A very nice one, to be fair. We've got Vola through the middle, who is absolutely fantastic. I've used this card. Makengo in the midfield, again, using his card. He's fantastic. Klaus at right back, he was very good as well. Again, I've used him. Very good cards there. Not sure about everyone else on the pitch, but it's a very nice team. Kamavinga to take. Oh, he's going to get there with the keeper, is, I think. No, he's chested it. It's not cleared. Mateta, it's in. It's pretty, it's pretty ratty, I can't lie. An easy chance for Mateta as he slots it away into the bottom corner. It's not even bottom corner, it's straight at the keeper, actually, but it's 1-0. Talo comes out. That might have cost us defensively, though. They're in behind. Looking for a chance. Di Maria. It's in. An equaliser. And it's pretty poor from the defence. I can't lie. Here we go. They're in. Smith. Still Smith. Still Smith. Oh, it's so annoying. Why have we conceded that? That is so bad. Such a terrible goal to concede. But now Mateta... No, it's taken off him terribly. And that's the half-time whistle. Very disappointing, I can't lie. We really should be thrashing this team. We've had so many chances, but we've just not taken them. And we played a bit sloppy in the midfield as well when it comes to passing. But <sighs> it's just annoying, really. We really should not be lose losing this game, especially because of that second goal. It was absolutely woeful. It's woeful. How on earth I, how she even managed to get that shot off is just beyond me. But some time for some substitutes. I'm going to take off Baliba for Gundogan. And I think other than that, I'm going to keep it the same. Actually, you know, we're going to leave Bradshaw a game. I don't think we've ever given him a game. So we're going to leave Bradshaw a game. And I think those are the two subs we'll make. And let's see what happens in the second half. Let's do this. Rukovina. Kamavinga. Kovacic. Bradshaw. Here we go, a little bit of play here. Bradshaw's in, plays it back to Gunduan. Gunduan! Equaliser in less than two minutes of the second half beginning. That's fantastic for Ukai Gunduan and Bradshaw. It's an equaliser, it's 2 2. Gunduan taking it on, maybe. Nope, cuts back. Looking for Kovacic. Kovacic. Still Kovacic. Gundogan, it's sin. So lucky. But we'll take it. Fantastic play, though. It's 3-2. We're backing it. Come on. Fernandez. Good ball. Mavropanos, the man, trying to stop Vola. Can he do it? He can. But it's a penalty. Disappointing. I don't know why Edison's on it. Why is your Edison on pens? No, he puts Fernandez on it. He's going to... Is he going right? I can't tell. No. It's just poor. It's just he's had such lucky goals this game. It's 3 3. Ovacic. Bacharina. Bradshaw. Bacharina. 
Baccarina sits the keeper down. It's in. Fantastic. No missing that. Martin Baccarina makes it 4-3. The young Croatian backfiring in the goals for the series. It's 4-3. What a goal. What a team goal. And we're back ahead yet again. Mavropanos. Terrible pass. Rukovina. Good turn. Here he goes. The young man. Rukovina down the left. Still a chance maybe to get one more goal. Rukovina. Going in. Plays it in. Kovacic. Baccarina is going to have a pop. Oh, what a save. One last corner probably here. Before the end of the match. I'm not going to put Kamavinga. I'm going to put an in-swinger on it. Gundogan. They're going to whip it in here. Good ball from Gundogan. Kamavinga. But no. No headed chance. And that's surely the full-time whistle. Yes, it is. What a win for us. 4-3 in division rivals. A way better game than the first one in my opinion. But a lot more of a struggle. But we come away with a win anyway. So a very nice win. Two wins in rivals this episode. And I think now we'll get into some SBCs. So let's do this. Right, ladies and gents. Very good news for us as we get to see Satalo go up another rating and gain the ping pass ability. So that's very nice for us as he goes up his second rating to an 81 with a plus one in pace, I believe. No. He got a plus one in pace last upgrade, but he gets a plus three in passing, two in physical, one in defending, and a ping pass play style. Very nice for us. He only needs one more upgrade, which is achieve three clean shoots and win two, which I might try to do off camera because he expires, he expires in a day. So, yeah, but even if we don't get that done, it's still a nice looking card like this. So that's very nice. And the other reason I went to Evolutions is because they've just released a brand new, I believe, Radioactive Maestro. Now, I thought, who do we use this on? And I instantly knew Martin Bacharina. What's he go up to? A 77, and that's a nice-looking card as well. Look at that. 77 pace, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, 61 defending, 66 physicality, 69 shooting. But that agility and the passing and pace is really, really nice. So, we're going to use the radioactive maestro on him. Boom. Get evolution. And the first upgrade to our major man in this series is going to be an Evo, which is very nice. So, I think now, we might have a quick look at the other one. I think it's a Marauder which, and the Renantless Winger, but I don't know who we're going to use on these. I, again, I think it might be Rukavina, because he's been very good for us. And this one's right wing, this one's left wing. Can we... I oh, know we can't use Rukavina in this one. But can he play right wing? If he can play right wing, we can use Rukavina. He can play right wing. What's he look like? Ooh, he looks quite good to be fair. Freestyle, freestyle with whipped pass and rapid and relentless. You know what? We're going to use it on Rukovina as well. Boom. The two Dynamo boys getting their Evos. Very nice additions to the team, which is quite nice as well. But now I think we'll quickly have a look at that new advent calendar thing and complete it so we can get an 83 plus player pick. Let's do that. Right, ladies and gents, we've done the Advent Calendar upgrade, which gets us, I think, maybe like a gold pack or something like that, plus uh, the 83 plus player pick. I'm going to quickly have a look. Is there anything else we could do here? That's pretty interesting. It doesn't look like it, no. Maybe the year in review, I might try and do, but we're going to open the Advent Calendar real quick. So hopefully we can get someone in this, because I'm looking for one of these new cards, especially like Vardy, oh, that'd be perfect for our side. Especially because he is Croatian, he would link with Bacharina and Rukovina and Kovacic and stuff like that. We have this to claim as well, which is a radioactive loan. Hopefully that might be Gvardiol, but of course the more important thing we have to claim is the door number one of the advent calendar. I think we also did have a pack from Eric Bailly, but we're going to open this player pick real quick. Come on, A3+. Plus. You know what, it's not bad in terms of fodder. Renard, 88, take that. And of course, we've got to quickly claim that radioactive Eric Bailly objective thing, which is an 81 times 2 which is quite nice as well. Potential chance of some fodder. So we might generally be able to do the year in review, uh, but it all depends on whether we have enough of fodder, because we have had a lot of 83s this episode, or higher, so maybe we could. But I'm going to open the loan first. Can we get a Gavardiol? No, we get Weyer. Not ideal. Don't see him fitting in the team at all. I don't think he'll link to anyone. But, I mean, it'll, it'll be alright, actually, because we do have, like, Brave. Is it Brave for it right back? Um, and he doesn't link with anyone, so it's alright. Right, 75 plus player pick. Not player pick, player pack. Swiss. 
Center back, a Kanji. Yeah, it's all right. No. Was that a Kanji? No, it's Bulwa from Tottenham. I don't know who that is. 81 times 2. Okay, English. Cam. Madison? Yep, Madison, 84. Which is quite nice again. Some nice fodder. Anyone behind him? Another 84, Martinelli. Very nice. So we got... I honestly reckon we could do the year in review. Because we've got a lot of fodder. Including an 87, I believe, which you need for it. So I'm going to try and complete the year in review. And I'll keep you updated if we can. Right, ladies and gents. We've completed the year in review player pick. Which I believe is the first big upgrade we've done on this series. So hopefully we can get something quite nice in this. I don't actually know who you can get in this. But if they fit in the team, it's worth it. So here we go. Year in review player pick. Wow, that is that is really dead. Um, uh, I guess we'll go for Morris because we've just put Nabry into this, so I guess he can play right mid. He's not that bad looking of a card, but again, he's from the MLS, so it's hard to link. But sadly, I think we're gonna have to end this episode here. If you did enjoy, again, do remember to subscribe to the channel. But thank you for watching this episode of the Battery in the Battleground. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.